This is QCC alum David Russell. The Tigers about to take on the Panthers and BMCC wins the opening tip. As far as regular season games go, they don't get much bigger than this one. BMCC three and three in the CUNY. Queensboro two and four. BMCC can eliminate Queensboro from playoff, CUNY playoff contention with the loss. It's worked inside. Back outside, faked a three. Move to the basket is no good. Offensive rebound. Hook shot no good. Doing work down low. Mikhail Ogunke makes it 2 nothing Panthers. Queensboro helped out. LaGuardia came in here early in the year. Won by three points. Since then it turned into a 2 nothing Queensboro win. LaGuardia, the Red Hawks had to forfeit. And that shot is no good. Queensboro coming off a blowout loss here two days ago to Hostos. Nice pass, Ogunke inside, and that's good off glass. It's 4 0. BMCC has, each of these teams have two games left in the CUNY. BMCC has this game here tonight against Queensboro, and then they face Kingsboro. Queensboro has BMCC tonight, and then Thursday night here against the Bronx. What is not known yet, will that game against the Bronx mean anything? That three-pointer is good. It's Justin Joseph. 4-3, the starting lineup for the Tigers. It's five seniors on senior night. Justin Joseph, Joseph Turner, Chris Brown, Henry Birch, and Dwayne Bridey. The spin move. Outside foot was on the line. It's a two. It's no good, but an offensive rebound. And a trip. First foul on Turner. Five Panther starters, Hassan Mahdi, Justin Manon, Tim Pandolfi, Shumbray Jones, and Mikhail Ogunke. 
So also a big game in the region. The winner moves into eighth place. The loser in ninth. Queensboro snuck in as an eight seed last year. Trying to do the same again this year. Oh, Gunke puts it in off glass. He has all six BMCC points. Shades of the big man Chris Melander who came in here the other night with Suffolk and put up 37 on the Tigers. Joseph, righty to Turner, Birch. Good ball movement. Joseph, another three. And that one is no good, rebounded by Ogunke. And there's a really deep three, it's no good. And Ogunke saves it in, but he threw it to Joseph. Joseph, great pass to Bridie. Bridie couldn't finish. And Hassan Mady with the nice play. And then Mahdi is fouled. Second foul on Queensboro. First on Justin Joseph. Here's Mahdi. Mahdi, nice pass to Ogunke. Ogunke couldn't finish. Turner to Bridie. Bounce pass Turner. Joseph. The variety to Turner. A lot of passing on the perimeter. Not a lot of penetrating. Joseph kick out Birch going to the basket. And a blocking foul is called. First foul on Manon. Birch inbounding. Long pass to Bridey. Turner. Turner. Three for the tie. It's no good. And Manon there for the rebound. Can Panther slow it up. Entry pass knocked away, and it goes to Queensboro. Jones touched it last. Justin Joseph goes to the bench, or Lenz Metellus goes in. Queensboro with just one field goal in the first four minutes, a Justin Joseph three. Birch going to the basket, tough shot is no good. Metellus the rebound, the putback is good. And it's 6-5. So Metellus comes in and scores quickly. Pandolfi being guarded by Birch. Nice dribbling all the way to the basket. The shot was blocked. And the putback by Ogunke was no good. Out of bounds. It will stay with BMCC. Ogunke with all six points for the Panthers. Maddie pass was a little behind Ogunke. And Birch intercepts and saves it, and then the Panthers get it right back. Fast paced game. And Queensboro with the steal. Turner lost it. And then he pushed off. That was a good call. Tough call, but a good one, and that's the second on Turner. Bit of a helter skelter pace so far. Panthers up 6 5. There's a long two, and it's good. Justin Madden has his first points of the game. It's 8 5. 
Panthers are trying to get the third seed in the CUNY playoffs. They want to avoid Hostos, I'm sure, in the first round. Hostos one, Bronx two, BMCC, and Kingsboro. Well, Kingsboro is the three right now as Maddie goes all the way and scores. Hassan Maddie makes it 10 5. And the Panther bench is up. They're into this one. They know they can eliminate Queensboro from CUNY playoff contention and clinch a spot in the postseason. And there's a charge on Metellus. Panthers bench loving it. Panthers coached by Nolan Adams in his first season, replacing Michael Kerr. Kerr left to become an assistant at Adelphi. Actually, the job he had before he was the BMCC head coach. Now they're under a different head coach. Panthers up 10-5, nice fake. And a nice shot, Pandolfi makes it 12-5. Sanjay Carter, Queensboro looking for a basket. Cotto, outside Carter. Good look at his shot, but it's no good. Metellus chases it down. Metellus outside, Bridey to Carter. Carter in the lane, it's no good. And a swarming defense. Good job by Pandolfi to get out of there, and then it's turned over. Bridey. Bridey gives it up to Carter. Going baseline and had nothing there. Somehow got it to Metellus, and Metellus is fouled. A good call that will be on Matty. <laughs> Team's second foul, Metellus at the line for two. Metellus makes the first, it's 12-6. And Brandon Harriet, one of the returners from the Mike Kerr era, going in. Metellus makes both, it's 12-7. Remember the CUNY tournament last year was held at BMCC. The Panthers lost in the semifinals to the eventual champion Bronx Broncos. That was a slight upset. It was the 2-3 matchup. Each team was 4-4 four four in CUNY in the regular season. Nice pass underneath. It's Jones who got it from Ogunke. And Jones makes it 14-7. Birds to Carter. Metellus. Metellus. Lost his footing for a second and then puts it in off glass. And Metellus with six quick points. And the three is launched and hit. Mateem makes it 17-9 from way downtown. Whole Panther benches up. They lead by eight, Carter to Birch. And Birch is called for traveling, good call. Tried to split the defenders, took too many steps. And Alfie crossing half court. It's being guarded by Bridie. Here's how gun came the post. Outside, three pointer. It's a long two, excuse me, no good. Rebounded by Carter. It was Jones who took the jumper and there's a turnover. Panthers looking to go up by double digits. Matee, contact no foul called, but the basket is good. Seven points for Matee, it's 19-9. Bridey to Carter. Birch puts up a three, and it's good. Henry Birch from downtown. 19-12, Birch a holdover from the Larry Dantzler era. Dantzler was actually in the gym two days ago watching the Queensboro Hostos game with Damian Broadwater, who used to be his assistant at Queensboro. Broadwater, now an assistant at Bronx Community College. Matee lost it, Queensboro ball, 
And Carter dribbled it off either his foot or Ariel's foot. Birch another three. And that rattles out. Cotto the rebound underneath. He couldn't put it back. Loose ball and Cotto gets it back. Ogunki couldn't handle it. Brighty outside Birch to Carter. Cotto. Tough angle and it's good off glass. Cotto with his first points. It's 19-14. And there's a timeout taken by BMCC after Queensboro scores five in a row. 10.25 to go in the first half. BMCC ball after the timeout. They're in a 1-4 set. Trying to get Herio off the screen. Pandolfi. Good defense by the Tigers. And a loose ball and the Tigers have it. Birch. Tough shot and it's no good. He was off balance when he took it. So matchup of first year coaches in the CUNY. Carl Amenjo for the Tigers, Nolan Adams for the Panthers. That shot is good off glass. Tim Pandolfi makes it 21-14. Shot a few other first year coaches in the CUNY. There's a coach Shell, Lambert Shell at Kingsborough. And there's a turnover in Benchoba Pond at LaGuardia. Panthers up by seven. A little more than halfway through the first. Harrios jumper, no good. Tipton Queensboro has it. Tigers coming off a blowout loss here against Hostos. They have to make sure not to get off to too bad a start. Nice passing. Nice fast break as it's Akeem Williams who finishes. It's 23-14. Tigers were a little slow in getting back. Stressa puts up a three. Counted on the foul. They've been Stressa from downtown. So 23-17. Foul was on Joseph Ojo. The other day, Hostos only led 19-18. And then uh, they were up by 44 at one point. Cayman's a clear favorite in the CUNY. Doesn't matter, Queensboro would be happy to face them. It would mean they're in the playoffs. It's rest they can't finish the four point play. Queensboro and Hostos have actually met in the CUNY semifinals two years in a row. Last year, they, the Tigers beat the Cayman 67-61 in overtime. There's a three-pointer by Herio, and it's good. Herio has his first point to the game. It's 26-17 Panthers. In 2012, Hostos and Queensboro met right here. And Hostos led by 30 at one point, won by 18. Henry Birch was on that team and he just got fouled. With 8.05 to go in the first. First foul on Williams. Birch makes the first at 26.18. Thank you. 
Bird splits the free throws. Rebounded by the Panthers. There's Joseph Ojo. Nice pass, but the basket is no good. And then Birch tripped over Ogunke, who's called for the foul. That's his first, team's fifth. Ralph Ayala is in for BMCC. Nissan Mati goes back in. Queensboro ball, they trail 26-18. 7.42 to go in the first. Rest another straight on three. That one is no good. Ojo going to go all the way, but the shot is short. The putback is short. Queensboro ball. Williams had a good chance to score. Missed off the front rim. Here's Fressa. Outside Brown to Stressa. Brighty. Good ball movement. They're down to 12 on the shot clock. Brighty's three is no good. Panthers looking to go up by double digits. Under seven minutes to go in the first half. Matei being guarded by Brighty in a 1 4. He's off the screen. The three pointer is no good. And rebounded by Metellus. Queensborough's done a pretty good job defending the Panthers in those 1 4 sets. They've run that play twice now. Cotto on the outside to Brighty. Stressa. Back outside, still 13 on the shot clock. Brown, tough shot is no good. Metellus underneath was blocked from behind. Akeem Williams, he's got the hand up. Joseph Ojo, still scoreless. The bounce pass, Mati. Williams to Ojo. Outside, they're down to nine on the shot clock. Here's Matee. It's passed, but they're down to three, down to two, and a three second violation is called. The ball will go to Queensboro. 5.41 remaining in the first. Panthers in their 2 3 zone. Joseph had to go through his hands. Got it back, Brighty. Metellus. And Metellus lost his footing and is called for traveling. So it's still 26-18. No scoring the last few minutes for either team. Down low, and that's going to be a tie-up. And the ball will go to Queensboro with 5-12 remaining in the first. It's Carter to Joseph, takes a three. That's no good. Rebounded by Harriot. Under five to go in the first half. Ojo thought about the three. Now takes Brown off the dribble. And then throws it to no one. Queensboro ball. Now Joseph Turner goes back in for Queensboro. Picked up two fouls early. Spent the last few minutes on the bench. Brown outside to Turner. Carter. Joseph launches a three, and it's good. Second three of the game for Justin Joseph. It's 26-21.
when the uh, schedule came out early this year. This was supposed to be the last home game for Queensboro. It's turned over. Carter threw it behind Turner, got it back, but the Bronx doubleheader was snowed out. Second will be here on Thursday. Here's Joseph outside Turner for three. It's no good, but rebounded by Carter. And that shot was blocked by Ogunke. Carter got it back, went to the basket, counted, and the foul. Carter makes it 26-23. The sixth Tiger to score in the half. Carter can't finish the three-point play and the ball goes to the Panthers. Pandolfi being guarded by Joseph. Alfie to Harry out. Good defense by the Tigers, Joseph. But to take it away. Ogunke, a long two, it's way off. And the ball goes to QCC. Panthers have been held scoreless for a few minutes. Joseph for the tie, it's no good. Metellus the rebound. Turner to Joseph. Carter going to the basket. Off Metellus, Joseph. And Metellus is going to be called for traveling, wave off the basket. Exactly three minutes to go in the half, 26 23 BMCC. Panthers looking to extend the lead. And the foul is called against the Tigers. Only the team's fifth. Justin Cotto goes back in for QCC. Justin Manning back in for the Panthers. As that was the first foul on Sanjay Carter. Here's Manning. Manning being guarded by Carter. On pass. Go back outside, Harry L lost his footing, and he calls timeout. BMCC timeout with 2.28 to go in the first half. It will be a full timeout. Of the timeout, there's a three pointer, which is no good. Ogunke gets his own rebound. And then it's turned over. It was last touched by Pandolfi. The pass was a little behind him. 2.18 to go. Defense. 
Panthers led by double digits at one point. It was 19-9. That was the biggest lead. Joseph for the tie. It's no good. Panther ball under two minutes to go in the first half. Here's a 1-4 set again for BMCC. Harriot puts up a tough three, it's short. Cotto hands it to Birch. Turner to Birch. Going inside, and Birch was fouled. First foul on Pandolfi. Birch makes the first, it's 26-24. Birch looking to make both. Cannot. And the Panthers have it. Means we're on a very long 6 0 run. Been a while since the Panthers have scored. 120 to go in the half. They're going in the 1 4. Hasn't worked for them yet. And there's a five second violation. Tigers ball, 110 to go in the half. Queensboro can tie or take the lead. Birch to Joseph. Birch, Brighty, back to Birch. Kick out Brighty for the lead, and it's good. Wayne Brighty puts the Tigers up 27 26 with his first three points of the game. Queensboro on a 9 0 run. Nice move inside. But a charge is called. Forty seconds left. Five second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. See if the Tigers run it down. MCC in a 2 3. Bridey thought about it. Cotto baseline shot. No good. Panthers can hold for the final shot. You're 22 seconds left. The shot clock is off. Down to 15. Harriot. Harriot inside and the charge is called. I don't know why the Panthers went so early. Gives QCC another chance with 11 and a half seconds to go. And Turner goes back in for Queensboro. It'll be Chris Brown going out for the final possession. Now Sanjay Carter goes in and Cotto goes out. So a few subs being made by Coach Amenjo. Turner, 10 seconds to go. Joseph back to Turner. Carter to Bridey to Carter. Five seconds. Outside Bridey gonna toss it up. And that's no good. That will end the first half. The Tigers ended on a nine nothing run and Queensboro leads BMCC 27-26. Second half underway, Queensboro leading the Panthers, 27-26. It 
If the Tigers hold on, and teams will go into a tie for the fourth and final spot in the CUNY. So that shot was no good, saved in, but Queensborough will get a fast break out of it, and Bridie lays it in. 29-26. It's 11 points in a row for QCC, going back to the first half. And going inside, a nice move by Justin Mannon. It's 29-28. And the winner of this game will be eighth in the region. Loser falls to ninth. Joseph's three is good. It's 32-28. If Queensboro wins, no guarantee that they'll be in the regional playoffs. BMCC with a pretty easy opponent in Ulster coming up as the tie-up is forced. Queensboro's two opponents remaining, Bronx and Sullivan. And BMCC also has Kingsboro coming up as Birch forced to tie up and Queensboro has it on the alternating possession arrow. Birch outside to Turner. Birch, Turner. Back to Joseph. Brighty takes a three. And that's no good. Wave it off and hit the shot clock. His team's bet met back in November. Down in Manhattan and the Panthers won 88-82. Queensboro trying to return the favor. And going inside, kick out, three-pointer is no good. Loose ball and the Panthers get it back. And there's a foul in the active shooting. Jones will go to the line. First foul on Chris Brown. First free throw is good, 32-29. Jones makes both, it's 32-30. Tigers up by two. Early minutes of the second half. Turner, Brighty back to Turner. Birch to Turner. Joseph for three, and that's no good. Brown the rebound, and he was hammered by Jones. And Brown at the line for two. Brown makes the first, it's 33-30. Brown makes both, it's a four point game again. 17.51 to go and here's some pressure by the Tigers. Good defense, the Panthers get across half court. And no reset. Manon being guarded by Birch. Outside, Matee has to throw up a three and it's good. 34-33. Matee now with 10 points. Tigers trying to answer back. Joseph, kick out, Brighty. Went inside and put it in off glass. It's 36-33. Brighty now with seven points. Three minutes into the second half. 
Here's a 1 4 set. Matei thinking about putting up another three. Righty's right on him. Going in the lane, and a travel is called on Pandolfi. Tiger ball. Joseph back to Turner. Cantor fell down momentarily, and Turner launches a three, it's long. Tipped, and the Tigers keep possession. Birch, comes pass to Joseph, here's Turner. Bridey, Brown, gives it out. Joseph is straight on three. No good, and Brown saves it, but he was on the line. Good hustle by the Tigers. They lead 36-33, 16-10 remaining. There's Mate being guarded by Turner. Oh, Gun K lost it. And Brighty picks it up. Turner, Queensboro, running a fast break. Brighty, tough shot is no good. Birch, the rebound and put back was no good. Birch got it back. Birch moving inside, that's no good. And rebounded by Ogun K. Queensboro missing a few opportunities to extend the lead. It's still a three point game. Mate lost it and went through the legs of. Pandolfi as a whistle is blown and timeout is called by BMCC. 15.31 to go. See what Nolan Adams drew up during the timeout. Lost his footing, and a tie up is called. It will stay with the Panthers. Pandolfi slipped. Panthers will have it with 13 on the shot clock. Here's Pandolfi. That's for the tie, and it's good. Pandolfi makes a three-pointer. 36-36. 15.07 and counting remaining. BMCC can clinch a spot in the CUNY playoffs. Queensboro would be eliminated with the loss, and Brown is called for traveling. 14.56 to go. Such a crucial game in the CUNY and the region. And that game LaGuardia had to forfeit early in the year. So important now. Turner takes it away and going all the way to the basket and he's fouled. 14.41 to go. Second foul on Harriet. First free throw is no good. Justin Cotto goes in for Queensboro. Some subs being made by Carl Menjo. 
Turner looking to split the free throws and give Queensboro the lead. Misses them both. But a lane violation called against the Panthers. See if Turner can make BMCC pay. He does. That's Turner's first point of the game. It's 37-36 Queensboro. Nolan Adams, the Panthers coach, saying he ball faked. There's an offensive foul against Matee. Through the arm. Second foul on Matee. Queensboro up by one. 14-33 to go. Carter lost it inside. Matei, Panthers looking to take the lead. Matei gets it back for BMCC. Good defense by the Tigers. Here's Harry to set a pick. Down to 11 on the shot clock. And a foul called on Bridie. That's his first. Here's Pandolfi being guarded by Turner. Pandolfi inside, and it goes in. It hung on the rim. 38-37 Panthers. Also no uh, whistle. May have been a little contact. Refs letting them play on. Queensboro would have liked a charge to have been called. Cotto took the contact. Tigers looking to take back the lead. Turner to Carter. Cotto from the free throw line, it's no good. Metellus, the offensive rebound. And Turner a three for the lead. No good. And rebounded by Pandolfi. Turner had a good look. 13 minutes to go. Panthers in their 1 4 set. Pandolfi taking Carter off the dribble, and the blocking foul is called. That's the second on Carter. Pandolfi thought about a really deep three. It's taken by Harriot and it's an air ball. Nolan Adams saying that Cotto's foot hit the line. Brighty to Stressa. Turner. Good closeout defense by the Panthers. Closing out on some of these shooters. Here's Brighty. Stressa going inside. Bounce pass down low and a foul is called against BMCC. Second foul on Mikhail Ogunki. Stressa gets it into Turner. Brighty for three. It's no good. Tigers going a bit cold here. They don't need to settle for all these jumpers. Harriot. Harriot, nice move, but the basket is no good. Brighty. Nice job to save it in. Turner still looking for his first field goal. And the rebound by Jones. Under 12 minutes to play. Panthers up 38-37. And all the way to the basket goes Pandolfi. And it's 40-37. The help defense was slow in getting over. And Dolphy now has 11 points. The Panthers now have a 40-37 lead. 11 and a half minutes to go. BMCC on a 12-5 run. Stressa to Turner. Cotto. 
They are not going to let Turner beat them. Closing him out, Stressa. And the shot is blocked. Shot was blocked by Akeem Williams. Matei. There's a long jumper and it's good. It's a two. It's 42 37. Matei with a dozen points. Timeout, Queensboro. Panthers by five, 11 03 to go. Queensboro ball after the timeout. It's tipped and taken away. Panthers ball. They lead by five, 10.50 to go. Queensboro season on the line. And that found its way to Williams, loose ball. Controlled by Jones, now back outside. They have 10 on the shot clock, nine. Eight, here's Williams and he's fouled. Fouled on the pass. Looking to get it in. Still looking. And it goes to Mate. Matei being guarded by Carter. Carter right up on him. Loose ball, and it's picked up by Carter, and then thrown away. Threw it right to Pandolfi. Metellus trying to get it back, and now we will just go back on defense. 10.05 to go. Nice move by Pandolfi going to the basket. And it's good off glass. Got Metellus up in the air. It's 44-37. 14-3 run for BMCC. 9.45 to go. Carter to Turner. Brighty. Metellus posting up. Metellus inside. Double team. No good. Tipped. Birch couldn't put it in. Nine and a half minutes to play. And a foul is called on Metellus. That will be his second. That was away from the ball. Here's Matei being guarded by Carter. And another foul away from the ball. This one is on Brown. Queensboro starting to rack up the fouls. Any foul from here on out will put the Panthers at the line. Going inside right to the basket and it's good off glass. Jones makes it 46-37. A 16-3 run for the Panthers. 9-10 to go. Danger time for the Tigers. 
They need a basket here in the worst way. Carter, there's Turner to Carter. Birch, Birch going to the basket and no whistle. Good defense by Akeem Williams. Mate. It's a pass to Williams. Williams kick out. Jones. There's a jumper from Jones. It's no good. Rebounded by Williams. And then threw it in a crowd of Tigers. And there's a tie up. Evans possession arrow favors the Tigers. So Queensboro will have it with 8.28 to go. Forty six thirty seven Panthers, eight twenty to go. Brighty to Carter. Turner. Carter being guarded by Manon. Kick out Turner. While passing on the perimeter, nobody going inside. Now Carter. Bounce pass Brighty going inside. Mid range jumper is no good. Under eight minutes to play. Queensboro offense has become stagnant as BMCC calls timeout. 7.52 to go. The Panthers lead Panthers ball out of the timeout. BMCC leads by nine. 7.45 to go. Here's Mate. Baseline jumper is no good. Carter has it for the Tigers. Carter running. Carter kick out Brighty to Birch. Turner for three and it's no good. Going out of bounds, it stays with the Tigers. 7.20 to go. Carter, 7.15 to go. Tigers need to start to make their push. Turner's shot is sent away. Carter inbounding. F25 on the shot clock. Underneath, don't know if Brown was expecting it. And Brown is fouled. They go away, take some points off the lead without time coming off the clock. Second foul on Jones. Brown, this is the first, it was short, barely hit the rim. Ogunkey goes back in for BMCC. Brown looking to split the free throws and does. It's now 46-38, 7.05 to go. 
Matei, Pandolfi, Harriot, long pass. And a whistle. It's going the other way, Queensboro ball. I believe he travel was called. So Queensboro has it down by eight, 6.45 to go. Here's Joseph, and it's stolen. Joseph's pass never got to Turner. Kick out going inside, right to the basket, and it rims out. Tip, but BMCC will keep it with 6.25 to go. It was a nice move. Everything went right for the Panthers except the ball going in. It's Pandolfi. Mati got free. That's no good. Tip, Queensboro with numbers. Carter. Carter to the basket, and it's no good. BMCC almost lost it. Six minutes to play. Panthers up 46-38. Queensboro just missed a fast break opportunity. Got a score on those. All those chances so valuable now. Corner shot, no good. Tip, Carter. Carter comes out with it. It's a three on three. Turner. Turner going to the basket. And he's fouled. 5.39 to go. Queensboro will not be going to the CUNY playoffs if they can't come back in the last 539. Their chances in the regional playoffs highly unlikely. Turner makes the first, it's 46-39. Turner has two points on the night, both from the line. 46-40 now, and Turner goes to the bench. Dwayne Brighty in for the Tigers. Five thirty-five to go. Panthers looking to hang on and clinch their spot in the CUNY playoffs. Here's Harriot, Mati, Pandolfi. It's his move, kick out. Long jumper is no good. T loose ball, and a foul is called on Carter. Went up to the ref, and the ref said, I don't want to hear it. That's the third foul on Carter. Five thirteen to go. There's a one and one for Hassan Mati. Crucial free throws. Mati with the dozen points as he ties his green sneakers. First one is good, 47-40. Now the big man, Akeem Williamson, averaging almost a dozen rebounds per game. Mate looking to make both and does, and it's 48 40. Eight point game, 5.13 to go. Carter. Here's Dwayne Brighty. Back to Carter. Five minutes to play. Gotta start looking inside. Now passing on the perimeter. Right down to 15 on the shot clock. Brighty. Down to 10, Carter. Kick out Bridey for three, and it's good. Wayne Bridey from downtown. 48-43. It's a five point game, four and a half to play. Pandolfi trying to get it to Williams. Inside Harriot, little floater, no good, tipped. Pandolfi got it back, 
tip, trying to save it in his Harriot, and he does. And his shot is no good. And Williams with the rebound, he was fouled by Birch. Number 33, fouls number 33. Nothing Birch could do. Except grow about five inches. 4.07 to play. Actually, the foul was on Justin Joseph, his second. And the free throw is no good. This is the front end of a one and one. Four minutes to play. Carter. Pass was slightly behind Bridie. Birch. Joseph, a corner three. It's no good. And rebounded by the Panthers. One edge. The guy with the size of Williams gives BMCC. 340 to go. Harriot back outside. Pandolfi to Mati. Harriot. 15 on the shot clock. Back outside. Mati. Really running the clock down. Kick out. Pandolfi corner three. Almost, but not quite. And tipped. Harriot. Second chance points, but they don't go in. 3 10 to go. Burge. Brighty. Brighty to Carter. Harriot over pursued. Joseph lost a handle on it. Loose ball. And wave off the basket. Timeout was called by Queensborough before it got to Brighty. So with 2.57 to go, BMCC leads 48-43. Fifty-seven to go. Tigers ball after the timeout. They have 13 on the shot clock now. Turner is back in the game. Brighty to Turner. They're down to eight. Gotta get going. Down to five. Four. Brighty's got to launch it. And it's no good. And there's a 35-second violation. Panthers ball with 2.39 to go. Hassan Mati. See if the Panthers run some clock. Still too early for the Tigers to foul intentionally. The pass, Pandolfi. Harriot. Long pass to Mati. Pandolfi. Tough shot is no good. Almost tipped in. Loose ball. And he goes to Queensboro. Brighty, two minutes to play. Birch to Turner. Birch, Brighty swings it. Joseph, shot is blocked. Akeem Williams sent the shot away. 1.51 to go. 22 on the shot clock. 
Poto in for Birch. The five right now for the Tigers, Bridie, Cotto, Metellus, Turner, and Joseph. Turner. For somebody here's Joseph, good look at a three, and it's good. Joseph with another three pointer, it's 48-46. A dozen points for Joseph. A minute and a half remaining. Matei. Long pass, Harriot. Matei, 11 on the shot clock. Pandolfi going to the basket, and it's good. Pandolfi now with 15 points. It's 50 46 BMCC, 105 to go. Brighty to Turner. Joseph, another three. That's no good. Rebounded by Williams. See if Queensboro fouls. Next foul is a one and one. They are not going to foul. Just going to play defense on this possession. Turn around, shot, no good. And Williams is going to be called for the foul. 35 seconds to go. Not only is there a foul against BMCC, that will put Queensboro on the line. Costly foul for the Panthers. And a big break for the Tigers. Now they have to make the Panthers pay. Coach Amenjo's decision not to foul, paying off. Metellus at the line. And a lane violation against Metellus. He knew it was no good as soon as it left his hands. Now Queensboro's gonna have to foul, 35 seconds to go. And timeout was called by BMCC before the inbounds. Queensboro season on the line, They're, they trail 50-46. Panthers inbounding, 35 seconds to go. Queensboro has to foul. There's Matee. Pandolfi tipped. And a turnover. And timeout, Queensboro. 30 seconds left. So the Tigers go for the steal and get it.
Queensboro ball down by four, 30 seconds to go. Need a quick basket, Turner is Bridey. Down to 20 seconds, Bridey. You need two scores, Birch launches a deep three and he's fouled in the act of shooting. And Jones too aggressive. If Birch hit that, I mean, he could tie the game with the four point play. No reason to contest a shot that closely from that deep. Jones called for his third foul. Birch at the line for three. Makes the first. Fifty forty-seven. Birch misses a second. Now an interesting thing. She Birch try to make this or try to miss it. And Queensboro hopes to get an offensive rebound. Birch makes a third, two for three on the free throws. It's 50-48, 14.9 to go, timeout Queensboro. MCC inbounding, 14.9 to go. Get it in, they do. Not fouling right away. Took them about four and a half seconds to foul. That was the third on Turner. Now pinned Tim Pandolfi at the line. And Dolphy with 15 points tonight. And Dolphy can make it a two possession game. It's a one and one. And Dolphy makes the first. 51-48. Question Nolan Adams has to ask, if Pandolfi misses, do you foul Queensborough intentionally and make sure they don't get off a game-tying three-point attempt? Pandolfi makes both. It's 52-48. Queensborough needs two scores in 10 seconds. Turner almost stolen. Pandolfi knocked it away. Eight seconds to go. Birch will inbound. Birch to Bridey. Righty misses a three. Metellus the rebound. Metellus the putback. Three seconds to go. Queensboro's got a foul, and they do with two and eight, ten seconds to go. Surprised how far some of those Panthers came out to contest that three. And that's the fourth on Turner. It's really only going to matter if this game goes to overtime. So Hassan Mati, this will be a two-shot foul. Panthers up by two. Can put BMCC in the CUNY playoffs. Misses the first. Now if he makes this one, do you foul? Not a lot of time left. 2.8 seconds to go, Mati. Splits the free throws, 53-50. Timeout, BMCC. Queensboro will have a chance to tie it up.
Last chance for Queensboro. Two and eight, 10 seconds remaining. Now you think for Queensboro, do you throw a long pass and try for a good three as another timeout is taken? Or do you throw a short pass and try for a long three? And if you're BMCC, do you risk uh, fouling in the act of shooting? If you're the Panthers, you don't want Queensboro to go off a last chance at a three, but you can't risk uh, putting them on the line for three shots. Maybe Carlo Menzo can draw up a four point play at the buzzer. Last chance for the Tigers. Two and eight, 10 seconds to go. It's Birch, Turner, Metellus, Joseph, and Bridie. Queensboro trying to tie. Birch running on the baseline. Metellus, he's got to throw it up, and they don't get a shot off. They don't even get a shot off. And Queensboro will not be going to the CUNY playoffs. It will be the Panthers and not the Tigers. This is QCC alum David Russell. The Panthers beat the Tigers 53-50.